Hello, everyone, and welcome to the pro tip of the day. Today, our question comes from Leslie, and she says, my stylus is splattering. What can I do? Great question. And so let's go over how to check on your stylus, how to clean it, why it might be sputtering. So I'm going to grab a stylus right here and this one needs to be clean. So I did not So that way we can see what might be wrong. Stylus off the hose right now. You can, when you're checking this, you can of course leave it on the hose, but there are a couple of things that you want to do to check it out. Number one, you need to be cleaning it every day you use it. So every day when you're done doing your makeup, you'll run some water through it. Just run some warm water right through here. You can turn on the faucet, pull all the way back on the trigger and let that warm water go through and just pass through. Then you can take a Q-tip and with a little bit of water, stir it around this bowl to clean what's left in here. You, you might have some stuff on the, like the wall of the bowl and you can just use the Q-tip to clean that. Now the sputtering might be happening because it is dirty in here. You can see the buildup in here. And so sometimes if you're using it, you, maybe you didn't clean it, or maybe you haven't done a deep clean on it. It can get buildup right in here. So pulling all the way back on the trigger. Hear this very clearly. Pull all the way back on the trigger because that's first, <laughs> let me back up, turn it off and then pull all the way back on the trigger. What that is doing, it's pulling the needle all the way back because we don't want to bend it, harm it, poke it, whatever. Pull all the way back, whip it off, take your Q-tip and stir it around in there. So that way we get to clean that area off too. You can use tip top cleaner. You can do different things. You can use just the water. I'm going to put a little bit of tip top cleaner because that's what I have available. And I'm pulling back all the way on my trigger and do, 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 stirring that to clean that as well. Now, as you can tell, there's some buildup still in there. So this would be somebody who maybe didn't clean it very well. So let's go to the back of the stylus. I'm gonna take the tail off and you probably wanna lay down maybe a towel just so this doesn't roll off. Then this little bolt, the needle bolt, you can take off. And then you're going to pull your needle all the way out. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's buildup on that needle. So you can take a wipe and clean that needle. Again, super sharp, so don't poke yourself, be careful and clean that needle until all the makeup is off there. Then you can take this part off and really do a good clean. You can soak this and this in warm water. Um, let that soak because what will happen is if there is any makeup buildup, the makeup luminous airbrush foundation, it's water and mineral based. So the warm water will help break that apart. You can soak it in tip top cleaner as well, but I find that just doing it with the warm water helps tremendously. So once you do all of that, we can put this cap whoop, wrong way, put that back on, just screw that on. Now also when you just do it till it's till it's tight. You don't use your um, your superhuman strength to tighten it. Just do it till it's tight. Then take your needle carefully. Whoop, bring it in and then tap, 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 tap all the way till it's all the way in. Don't jam it in there. Just whoop, till it stops. Then grab your bolt. Do it till it stops. One thing to do before you put the tail on is this bigger bolt right here. Make sure he is tight as well. You do want to check that because that is the resistance for pulling that needle back. And so make sure he is screwed on. Sometimes it'll come loose just from the vibrations of the machine or in shipping, things like that. So that is one thing you can check on. 
and then put your guy back together and then you wouldn't have any sputtering. So those are the areas you wanna check. Again, make sure you are cleaning it every time you use it and that's just running some warm water through it till it runs clean maybe every three days five days whenever you can also do tip top cleaner and then if you need to or if it is sputtering look at the tip to make sure you don't have to clean it make sure it is free of any makeup and then you can clean the bowl as well and the needle these tips will help you have a flawless application with no stylus sputtering. Thank you so much for joining me for the pro tip of the day. Remember, if you have any questions on any of our makeup, how to use a product, what a product is for, you can reach out to us at beautybar at luminousair.com and I could possibly answer your question online as well. So reach out to me and I will see you next time for the pro tip of the day.